Lakwadi has been giving you gifts. Ah, your bathing water is ready. Baba, mm. it is about the matter. Mm -hmm. It is other Jimmy that I want to marry. All right, call your mother for me. Aweru, mm -hmm. just like that. Yes, just like that. You, just like that. Without telling any of us, you have finally chosen that Jimmy. Shh. I haven't told anyone else. When? When did you tell your parents? This morning, before they went to the farm. But Awero, you are not a good friend. You told us last night at the village square that you were still thinking about it. Not knowing that you had already decided. No, I decided in the night. I thought and thought throughout the night. I could not sleep at all. But by morning, I called my parents and told them. They will tell other Jimmy's intermediary Baba Koredi when it comes tomorrow. But tell me, Peju, is it a good choice? Of course, Haweru. It's a good choice. We've talked about this before. Other Jimmy is a good man. He may not have money like Lapade or Dauda, but he looks like a very hardworking man. All of us can see that he really loves you. And above every other thing, other Jimmy should know how to handle a woman. He has had experience. And with him, your wedding night will not be too painful. Don't joke about this, Beju. I am I'm really troubled now. After I told my parents this morning, I started to be afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Hamaru. You have chosen well. What are you all talking about? Talking about? Nothing. We are talking about this new guy. Look at them. We have heard the news. Bride to be. Uh -uh. We have heard it. Uh -uh. So fast. How did you? Where? How big do you think this Orita village is? Your mother must have told somebody on her way to the farm. By now, the all of Shagbe Market will have heard about the news. Oh. In fact, we came here to beat you up. Ah. Why did you lie to us last night? You said you were still thinking. That is what I've been talking to her about. <laughs> Come here, Aweru. What is it that you were saying? You were the one that chose the Jimmy. Was it not us, Lakwe, Ajitoni, and Nayoka, that chose other Jimmy for you? Last night at the square and the night before, weren't you talking about Adlapade, Ode Jimmy, and Dauda? Counting their bad points and good points, now she says she chose Ode Jimmy. Say it again. Is it you that chose Ode Jimmy? Don't mind her. She doesn't want Ode Jimmy to know that we chose him. 
so that I can come to thank us properly with all good right, gifts. All right, all right, it is well. Eh? Before then, Jimmy comes to thank you, I'll begin to say my own thank you. Now you are talking, wedding party has started. <laughs> Yawo! Oshigiyo! Eleseo suwa bimoye! How is your father? Uh, he's in the palace. Uh, and your mother? No. She has gone to the stream with me. Uh, all right. You go and wash some calabashes and meet us in your father's palace. Akonino. Agoyao. Ah? Lawi. Jibosa. I heard you talking with Agani. Akiwale. Is it this bad? Ah. It is worse than what you see. I'm just only trying to be manly about it. Uh, you put the gods down. Are, are we going to drink it from your head? Ah. Uh, go tell Ajani to hurry up with the calabashes and you go back home. Okay, my name Sheikh. Greet your mother for me. Uh, what happened, Dakinwali? I overheard your wife telling our Rose mother that you came back very sick from the city last night. <laughs> Sickness? Sickness is only half of the story. I sold all my basket at giveaway prices because I could not get the real market of the basket in the city. And I needed money to come back to the village. The people of the city are not mummy. What happened? Uh -huh. After selling all the basket, mm -hmm. while I waited for the last lorry out of the city, a thief put a knife into my pocket and stole all the money. Shokpa, no! <laughs> Look at my Agbada on the wall here. Look at it. I still wonder how they did it. Ah! No, no. All the money? Everything. Five pounds seven shilling from the sales of the basket. With the three ceilings I have left from the day before. Uh, so, how did you come back to the village? Mm. Ah. Mm. By going to death with tears in my eyes, we begged a lorry driver to carry us. When we got off out of Sabe Market, mm. I was lucky enough to see uh, Debbie. Mm. One of the Yalani do masquerade from Morine. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He lent me money to pay the driver. Ah. And Lawu, you didn't see Lawu in the city? Lawu. Forget about Lawu. Mm -hmm. That is the story of another day. Mm -hmm. I must have walked up to five miles, 50 miles in that city looking for Lawu. And you didn't see him? Uh. I have suffered. It is well. You don't know what Oluduma is trying to tell you with this kind of experience. Mm. Eh? Mm. What else again? Our ancestors are now telling me that a man stay where he's born. Mm. I was told that I'm not the type of the person who lives in the city. If not so, I can't put five shillings together in this house mm. right now. Ah, ah, you cannot starve in this village. Not while we are still alive. Ah, ah. Why are you talking like a woman? Put some pan in that stomach first. <laughs> eh? Uh, where is this boy? Uh, Ajani? I'm here, Baba. Uh, uh, I cannot find any calabash in the house. Uh, uh, you see? I don't have enough calabash in this house. Akinwale. Ah! What kind of Chinese talk is that? Obuntili hmm. Amiri Walu, my father, faced an elephant with only his strong heart and his gun. He killed the elephant. Now his son attacks a sleeping deer. I shot a blind hyena. It is true. What you did was not your fault. It was an accident. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's crept inside my head. And I've, I've been asking myself, has Awero given me a powerful love potion? But I've never eaten anything from my hands. I... Except... Except... Except what? Once. Yes. 
Awero gave me some oranges. One of those days I met her at the stream. She actually gave me... Uh, what am I saying? <laughs> I was right there when Peju plucked the oranges from a farm nearby. She brought them to us and all of us, including the other girls, sucked the oranges. But... 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 It was Awero who peeled and chose mine. She could have... She could have... But what shall this talk is this, Odejimi? You didn't swallow any love potion. It was the fear of Lucy to Lakwade that brought this madness into your blood. Love potion. Will this be your story when the whole world comes to know that it is you, a hunter from Agbede village, who accidentally shot his love rival to death? Shh. Don't speak so loud. The walls have ears. Come. So, you found out. You have found out that Akwede is dead? No. I have not found out anything. Odejimi, how could you keep this to yourself for four days? I was afraid. I was afraid, Bogunde. And I, 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 I told you, it was an accident. You wait and see when the ballet calls you to answer for the murder. Oh, good day. Don't shout my name in the night. <sighs> you are right to be angry. I'm also very angry with myself. Oh, dear, give me. Huh? That must be a good day. Uh, yes, Egbo. We are here. Oh, dear, give me. Um, forgive me for shouting your name into the night like this. Uh, what is it, Ebon? It has happened. Exactly the way we wished it. We have won. Olodu Maria has removed your rival for you. Lakwade is gone. Lakwade is gone? Gone where? What is wrong with you? I say you should start dancing. Our rose parents have just uh, told me. I am coming straight from Morita, and they say you can bring the girl's bride price by tomorrow morning, if you wish. I hope you have my big keg of wine, because I will not choose you. What about Lakwade? Lakwade? What do you care about Lakwade? He's finished! His intermediary will go to our rose parents tomorrow evening. Give him the bad news. Stay there, Baba. Your father has been delayed in Bale's house, but he sent us to give you this. Ajibana, the village sculptor, carved it. He said he saw some wounded soldiers from the war, and they are using something like this. In fact, you want to practice it now. No, I don't want to try anything now. I want to know what you elders talked with Bale. Well, Lakwadi, we talked. Your father and all the elders, we talked very hard and long about this matter with Bale. 
And we have to listen to the voice of Olodumare. The voice of Olodumare? Yes, Bale said it. And we all agree with him. Uh, maybe the wise one is only trying to tell you that you have no good hand to your love with Awero. Oh, what was the name of the Just girl? to leave Awero alone? You know, we have to put a gun in the hands of my rival to shoot me at the back. Is that it? We all understand your anger and bitterness. But it is not good to start anything now that can lead to war between our village and our better village because of this little thing. You call this little thing? Or did you not shot me like a common killing foul? And you call this little thing? Lapade, it is what you say against what today Jimmy says. Lapade, it has happened before. A careless hunter shoots his gun in the bush. And a human being was accidentally hit. Yes, it's true. Done in the locust. Years before the locust. Uh, Fafunsa was killed before I married the Yadu. It was locust. Done in the locust. When, when did I marry Yadu? I can't remember. When was Fafunsa killed? I can't remember, but it was done in the locust. You can't remember when I married Yadu? You can't remember when Fafunsa was killed? Mm. You have 100% dull brain. Dull brain? Yes! No! Why, why? He's drawing the locals! Yeah, you can't remember why I married Yadu Ken. Mm -hmm. You can't remember why I was killed. Mm. I can shoot you as well. Shoot me? Yes! Shoot me! Why can't I shoot you? Okay, shoot me! Ah. Am I dreaming or... Can you see what our is doing or am I dreaming? What? Our is sweeping the house first thing in the morning. See what the smell of your husband can do to a girl. Tell me, did your mother shout on you this morning before you start cleaning the house? Bring your head here and let me answer the question. Oh, is it that Odedi is bringing our bride price this very day? And you, <laughs> come here with your flat bottom. <laughs> Talking about bride price, uh... when are they bringing it? Or do you want to surprise us with that too? Look, to tell you the truth, I don't really know. Only last week, my mother was asking how come you haven't seen Odedi Jimmy or his intermediary in the last one week. The answer to that is very simple. Odeg Jimmy and his people are preparing to bring you the biggest bride price ever seen in Orita. He promised you that, remember? He, he said his is not going to be the usual 12 pounds, 10 and 5 baskets of yam. He said... And Lakpade, yesterday was Shagba Market and someone told me he was not at his shop. Why are you asking about Lakpade hey. now? What do you want from him? Or... <laughs> You want your parents to collect bride price from him also? <laughs> no. Maybe she's even expecting Ada to bring his own bride price from the city. <laughs> I, I'm not that selfish. Okay, I will tell Lakpade and Dauda to save their bride price for any of you four. For who? For who? Say that again. Say it again. For who? That's it. So <laughs> tell Lakpade. Where? Awero! Awero! Yami, I'm here. Put it down over there. We need only a small basket of alligator pepper. And we shall get that at Shagbe Market in three days' time. Alligator pepper? I don't know the count that one as a woman bright price. <laughs> Our own family did not tell Odeji. It is a way of testing us to see that we know the tradition of the family we want to marry for. Oh, I see. So they can delay us of the wedding ceremony, saying that our bright price is not complete. Exactly. I have spent the last one week tracing our own Oriki. But Adioti, our village storyteller, told me that our rose father is from a castle lineage. Ada, give me. Thank you, Yami. No need of thanking me. I also do it for myself. Ogun has done it exactly the way we prayed it, it will be. He's not. But he's not telling anyone in this village that it was I who shot him. Of course he's saying so. But nobody believes him. 
He can't prove it. He didn't really see you. Nobody saw you. And the elders of his village think if they pursue the matter, it could lead to bad blood between Aku and Agbede village. And they don't want that. They don't want it or they can't afford it. If it comes to a fight of war, how many real men can come out of Aku village? What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing. I'm just thinking. What do you mean? Wondering what has happened to you. You are not really sorry for what you did, Odejimi. Talking about battles and killings. Is that what you really want? For men of Aku and Agbedes to start killing themselves just because one jealous fool shot his love rival? Ah! Odejimi, I am really ashamed of you. I'm really sorry, Bogunde. I was just talking. You are not just talking, Odejimi. You know that. Look, I don't want war between Aku and Agbede. I didn't even mean to kill Lakpade. Well, you frightened him away. Anyway, you have won. Lakpade is still sitting on the mat in his house, unable to walk. And you are here, preparing to go and pay our rich price price. Don't talk like that now, Bogunde. Is it not true that you have won? They say Lakpade's leg is swollen like this. The left leg which your bullet hit. They say he will never be able to walk properly again. And you know he has a bad right leg already. So, if only if I were had chosen him and not you, Maybe your parents would not have agreed to give her to a man with two bad legs. It is not like that, Bogunde. Not like that at all. I swear. You don't have to swear to me. And you know me well. I will never tell anyone about this. I just hope. I hope you can live happily with Awero. Knowing that you did not win a love freely and fairly. Like a true, a good demand should. That's all.